The Bible we use today has 66 books in it. But in the Old Testament times, before Jesus was born, they didn't have all these books. They only had the first five books. The books of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. But instead of calling these books the Bible, they called it the Book of the Law. Now what is the Book of the Law? Well, the Book of the Law was God's story of love for His people. It was also an instruction guide to help God's people live in a way that made Him happy. There was just one major problem. Nobody was doing what it said. After King David died, the kings of Israel became more and more wicked and they led the people of Israel into not doing good things. Not only were they not doing what the Book of the Law said, they eventually stopped reading it too. In fact, the Book of the Law got shoved into a deep, dark corner of the temple where no one was able to find it for a long, long time. But the story doesn't end there. One day, God raised up a good king named King Josiah. Josiah was only eight years old when he became king. Now that's very young. King Josiah was a wise king who loved God and did what was right. One day, King Josiah paid some workers to make repairs to God's temple. While the workers were working, one of the workers found something underneath the rubble. What's this, the worker said? It's the long-lost book of the law. Immediately, the worker took the book to King Josiah. Josiah heard God's words for the first time. He opened the book and read it. When he had finished reading, King Josiah realized that he and the whole nation of Israel had been sinning against God. He was so upset that he tore his royal robes as a sign of grief and wept in front of God. He said to the high priest, Go, ask the Lord for advice. The Lord is very angry with us. That's because our people have, who have lived before us didn't obey the word of this book. When the Lord responded, he said to him, I am going to bring horrible trouble on this place and its people, but not for King Josiah, because you were sorry, and because you listened to my word you, and did what it said, I will spare you. And because Josiah was sorry, and because he listened to God's word and did what it said, God promised to spare him from the horrible trouble. And that's the end of the story.